Jeffrey started watching self-improvement videos on YouTube, but he has one big question. Does this stuff actually work? Or am I just wasting my time because I don't really want to stop playing video games or watching anime or touching my little pee-pee like a monkey? Does this stuff actually work, Jeffrey? Well, let's see. You can scroll down to the comments of any of these videos, including this one, and see the stories of so many young men who have gotten onto self-improvement and changed their life forever. Adonis. Adonis was able to become the tribe leader through sheer discipline, humility, presence, gratitude, and leadership. All the things he learns from his seasons of focusing on self-improvement. Adonis became the ultimate man. The man trusted by the tribe, respected by the men, and adored by the women. And yet, even though he is the ultimate man, he still strives for continuous improvement. Just like the masters. What an impressive man indeed. Maybe you've seen a bunch of these kinds of videos on YouTube. YouTube and TikTok and Instagram, and you've been wondering, okay, does this stuff actually work? There's a few reasons you might be doubting this. Maybe right now you're young and you're seeing other guys your age who aren't really doing all this self-improvement, discipline kind of stuff, but it still seems like they're living pretty good lives, better lives than you, right? So there's probably a guy in your class who's dating a girl who's actually really cute. They might even be having sex by now. And he's pretty attractive guy. He's confident, he's social, he's liked by others. And and his physique is pretty okay as well, but it doesn't seem like he thinks about protein or going to the gym. And then there's you, little skinny fat, awkward, no charisma, weird facial hair that you keep trying to grow out, but it's actually making you look less attractive, like the mustache. <laughs> you see those guys who aren't on self-improvement, see that they're living a life better than you, and you're wondering, okay, well, why would I do this? There's a brutal truth that I'm gonna teach you right now, especially if you're a young guy, but even if you're a little bit older, you'll know that this is true. When you're young as a guy, the work that you put in and the discipline that you've had doesn't really show all that much. You can have two 16 year old guys. One has been meditating and journaling and reading books and the other one's just kind of like an attractive guy who ended up getting some positive reinforcement when he was younger. So he ends up becoming more social and he's got like a girlfriend and he's got friends. The second guy would probably have a better life. And it makes you think, but why does he have the better life if the first guy's the one doing the work? It's because right Right now, the work does not show. This is a brutal lesson you need to understand, okay? The work doesn't show when you're young, but suddenly around age 21, 22, that's when it first appears and you start to notice the difference of guys who are doing the right things or not. So when you're 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 years old, all guys are kind of the same. The guy who goes out drinking and literally drinks a lot of alcohol and is sleep deprived often doesn't even have that much of a worse physique than the guy who doesn't. The guy who stimulates himself with dopamine and watches shorts and everything doesn't seem that much less successful than the guy who meditates and reads because both of the guys are kind of broke. But when you get to about 22, 23, 24 years old, and the guy who's been on self-improvement, meditating, reading, trying businesses, he's easily on five, 10, $25,000 a month. If you've been in business for like three, four years, it's not unreasonable for you to hit 10K, 15, 20, especially with these like online influencer businesses like the one I'm doing. This shit's really easy, right? You can be an absolute idiot and make a good amount of money just like posting content and selling shit, right? It's crazy how easy this stuff is, right? I'm basically insulting myself because this is a pretty easy business model, right? That's when the changes start to appear. That's when you go and, you know, have like a bit of a reunion with people from like university. It's been a few years since you guys graduated. One guy's working part-time, like customer service, minimum wage. He's still going out partying every week and the other guy's making 10k a month in an online business and he's taking his life seriously. One guy's unemployed right now just kind of fucking around. He goes on his Xbox every now and then. He has a wank like a fap every few days and the other guy's discipline has a year-long six-pack. He's bulked up then he got lean then he's attractive. He knows how to speak to girls. You all go out together and you end up like just mogging the other guys by accident. How do I know this? Because this is exactly what happened to me. I hate to you know put guys that I 
I've liked down. But I'll tell you, it's fucking brutal. I started self-improvement. The first aspect of it, 17 years old. When I first started to go to the gym to build an aesthetic body, and also I started to learn like how to attract girls. That naturally made me more confident and social and outgoing over the years. I start packing on muscle. I start taking myself a bit more seriously. I start, you know, like learning things like body language and speaking with like a more commanding voice and standing upright and having respect for yourself and discipline, consistency, diet, training hard and all these things, right? And when I was 17, 18, guess what happened after one year of doing this? People made fun of me. Honestly, like people used to like laugh about it in my school, like in my college. My friends used to like bully me for it. And you know, they used to find it weird that I was like the guy who's going to the gym and taking shirtless pictures. My physique wasn't even that much better than some of the guys who just naturally had like a pretty muscular physique without even needing to train. You know, they just had like good genetics or something. But then when I turned 19 and 20, you started to notice the difference between me and like my nerdy video game friends. At this point, I'd been way more social. I'd learned how to like attract girls. Genuinely went like zero to a hundred with my ability to be like confident next to girls, next to guys. I started to like organize little events myself and you know, become like the leader of like little groups. Nothing serious, but you know, just being the guy who like invites people to like a social event and you're kind of leading the night, choosing where to go and everything. And this was like new stuff for me. By the time I get to 21 years old and I started my first business where I used to resell clothes on eBay. So I used to go to like thrift stores and like flip clothing for profits on eBay. At that point, I'm making like not much, but you know, 200, 300 pounds a month profits, which is pretty good when you're like a, you know, young 20 year old student. My friends are still playing video games. My friends in university are still taking drugs and going out and getting drunk. I remember one of the last conversations I had with a very good friend of mine when I was trying to get him to basically like lock in. This was before the phrase lock in was even a term, but I was literally having like an intervention with him. Me and him had been through so much. We had been best friends and I was going in the route of like entrepreneurship. We both basically like left university. I graduated. He basically just dropped out and we were trying to figure out what to do with our lives as young men. And the idea was always content. We were going to become content creators. We were going to become YouTubers. We always used to talk about that when we were in university. I started posting videos. I'm encouraging him, telling him, bro, you've got to. And he would always listen to it and just not take it seriously. And the thing is, if you saw me and him then, I'm not going to lie to you. He was way cooler than me, more charismatic than me even then, right? So I was like locked in like an autist self-improvement. You know, I started to meditate, journal and stuff. He wasn't. But he was more charismatic, probably living a way more fun life than I was. And so you probably would have chosen to be him. But then years later, I go viral on YouTube. It changes my life forever. I retire my family. I have freedom. I make money online. I've gotten super, super fit. My physique is so good, especially with someone who had shit genetics to begin with. I'm brown. Like we just have shit genetics. And I was able to out-train that. And when I met him again, I don't mean to shit on him, but it's like, I just saw that he was still in like that same like college university university mindset. He was still like partying all the time. He was making his decisions based on like partying and women. He was working minimum wage, but not like even a consistent job or anything. This was like, you know, we must've been like 24 years old. When you see like a 24 year old guy who's not really serious, it's not terrible, right? It's not like, you know, he's still fairly young, right? But it's like, I was 24 as well. I was 24 and I had a company, I had employees. It reminds me when I was in university, I actually used to be a receptionist, right? So that was one of like the part-time jobs that I had, that like this kind chiropractic clinic, you know, chiropractic, he cracks the back, kind of like physiotherapy, right? And it was just kind of like a house, like a guy became a chiropractor, renovated the house or something, turned it into like a clinic and he had like his own kind of small business, probably be making like maybe up to like a hundred pounds an hour, which is pretty good, right? He was 30 years old, 30 years old, owned his like own small company, had a couple of employees, including me. I was the receptionist. I'm just coming in there, taking calls, booking people onto the system, right? I also had a friend who was 30 years old, but he was like me. So this was when I was like 19, 20 years old. I had a friend who was 30 who would go out and take drugs with us. He wasn't like a, you know, like a dirty looking guy. He'd be really well groomed, like really, really attractive guy. He'd always dress up and everything. Looks like a nice, like happy professional guy, friendly guy and everything. He was in like high school mentality. He would go out with us when we were like 20, 21 years old. He was 30 years old. He was just working some shit job that he didn't like. And I remember once when it clicked for me and I just thought, wait, that friend of mine, this is like a new friend, not the friend I was talking 
talking about before, but this is like a different friend. And then my boss are the same age. My boss has a company with employees. He's in great shape, like really good shape. He trains athletes. Like he fixes people's bodies when they've got injuries. And my friend is basically like a degenerate who goes partying with me. It made me think, holy shit, like the difference between men can be so crazy once you get into your 20s. So if you're wondering like, does this self-improvement stuff work? You just haven't seen it yet. But I promise you, if some guys have commented it below, once you get into your 20s, any guy who's been on this journey for a while will comment and tell you it's fucking brutal. Like the guy who's been going to the gym, not staying up late, not drinking alcohol, building some kind of business or his career, you know, studying, meditating, developing faith, being productive. When he sees those old friends he used to hang out with, it's like genuinely seeing, like it sounds so horrible saying this, but it's like seeing like a subhuman next to you. Like you see them in like their shitty posture. They're still doing weird bad habits. They're eating like shit food and everything. You're like, how do you not even know about like seed oils and Dr. Andrew Huberman's podcast? The difference comes out in your 20s. Don't expect right now that, you know, the cool guy is getting the girlfriend right now because you're a young guy. So you don't think this stuff works. That cool guy is going to fall off fucking hard if he doesn't become disciplined and hardworking over the next few years. I've seen the really attractive, like the cool guys from my school, from my college end up looking like construction workers. You know, like they just look kind of fat with like a shit facial hair and everything. I see this so often now. I'm 27 years old. The guys who were like the kings of high school, it feels like they've all just fallen off and because they didn't need to, right? They were lucky, but they were also cursed in the fact that they never needed to work hard for this. They never needed to read a social skills book. We did. That means that you develop these skills whilst other people didn't. Do you see how valuable that can be? What you see from the guys who take this shit seriously, who really work hard, who really go disciplined, like with that immigrant mindset to fucking genuinely work hard and sacrifice for your dreams, they accomplish so much and they're so fulfilled. And also, if you do self-improvement the right way, which is the way I suggest, where you build up like the charisma, the aesthetic body, the confidence, the masculinity, then you're not also just the one dimensional guy who's made some money, but you missed your childhood. You don't want to be one of those nerds who like locked in, made money, but then you didn't really get to like date and you end up becoming like a loser. When you go on self-improvement my way, you make the money and the status and everything, but you also develop yourself to become way more attractive to women. So your dating and your sex life fucking blow up in your 20s and then later on in life because you've actually just made yourself attractive in all different areas. Now, am I saying I'm some perfect guy who's done everything right? Fuck no. I've made fucking million dollar mistakes multiple times. I make so many mistakes, but being a lazy motherfucker is not one of them. And that's what I'm glad. Does self-improvement work? Fuck yes, it does. And the top link in the description will take you to my free self-improvement protocol, which I call the Adonis protocol. That's exactly how I did things. And I was able to make faster progress than everyone else on the internet. My turnaround, my transformation is more remarkable than anyone else that I've seen. My fall off was also so severe that now when I teach these lessons on how to stay on track, you know that you're hearing from someone who's been through this shit before. Go click that top link to go get that free course. I made it completely for free. You can subscribe to this channel as well. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.